what's approaching the supreme moment reality striking closer than it seems don't it Go ahead. what's good all right i've got this berserker kel at 90 percent so i'm gonna go ahead and do a video even though i wanted her at 100 <clears throat> percent she is a hell of a beast though i will say that uh by beginning the video so leader skill plus two key hp attack and defense increased by 90 percent for physical types Super attack will cause immense damage to enemy and also lowers defense. Uh, passive skill is 120% increase to attack and uh, launches an additional attack uh, which also has a, a great chance to become a super attack. Uh, she lost the uh, damage reduction uh, as part of you know the skill set she had before so that's a good feature that you know definitely got adjusted. Uh, Link skills, Battlefield Diva, Berserker, Saiyan Lineage, Warriors of Universe 6, Prepare for Battle, Tournament of Power and Shattering the Limit. Uh, she, she only falls into one category, which is the Universe Survival Saga, and her 12 key multiplier is 145%. I went with a level 11 additional attack of level 15 for criticals. Uh, just for me, it just seemed to make sense. and. Uh, you'll see in the video, but she does uh, super with the additional attacks quite a bit, so uh, the level 15 for criticals definitely does help with that as well. Um, I personally like this card a lot uh, once she got transcended. And I think she's worth uh, definitely putting in work on the potential system. And uh, you can certainly make your own judgment on that by watching this video, but you know, like, I mean, right off the gate, you're seeing uh, three super attacks, you know, in a row. And uh, two of those were criticals, I think. I mean, without the criticals, she's still hitting for 550k. So, yeah, the opportunity's there. And uh, that intelligence type Super Saiyan 2 Kale, uh, the free-to-play unit, is also pretty decent in terms of a support unit. So I'll be uploading the 100% uh, version for her uh, here shortly after this. So, you know, be on the lookout for that. Yeah, I really like this Kale though. She, uh, she is definitely nice and uh, she got a hell of an upgrade once she's transcended. And uh, yeah, she's one badass bitch. That's all I got to say. <laughs> So you're going to see two team variations here in this video. One's going to be, as you're seeing right now, the uh, Universe Saga Sur I can't even talk. Universe uh, Survival Saga team, and then I went with a mono physical team. Uh, just because, you know, I could I could certainly set it up that way, and I, you know, use some characters that have decent passive skills to increase her uh, attack and defense a little bit. Yeah, if only I pulled one more dupe of her, I would have had her at 100%, but there's very little difference, honestly, between 90% and 100%, so, um, you know, I'm, I'm pretty content uh, having her at 90. It just would be nice to see that rainbow status on her, but, you know, it is what it is. All right, let's see how she does with uh, Dokkan mode here. <coughs> So without the critical, uh, a little bit short of a mil against the uh, Ultra Instinct Goku, but uh, he's a pretty tough enemy, so I mean that's not too bad in, in, in all honesty. And I'll make sure to uh, have her linked with the uh, Super Saiyan 2 Kale version, that, that way she gets that 30% boost from her. Uh, looks like Tapo's providing that uh, 30 to 35% boost here. And I am on the Vegito event now. It's about 870k there. Another super attack coming. No critical, but close to 900,000. So, I mean, her potential is definitely there. I mean, it's it's certainly worth the investment of hidden potential orbs, in my opinion. <clears throat> All right, let's see how much damage she can uh, take out of the HP right here. So, I mean, she's consistently hitting for pretty decent output. 
And the fact that she can, you know, potentially do three super attacks uh, in a row definitely uh, makes it nice. So, I mean, total-wise, she did about, what, 1.5, 1.6 million? All right, hit for a million with the critical and then another super. So her probabilities of getting uh, an additional attack with a super attack is definitely pretty high, um, like the uh, stats suggest. All right, so this is the awakened or, uh, you know, transformed Vegito right here. So, you know, let's see how she does. <clears throat> yeah, having the Super Saiyan 2 Kel in the rotation is definitely helpful for her. And yeah, I mean, she can definitely hit for a pretty decent output here. So three super attacks uh, in a row, so that... <laughs> That is one of the really nice things about, about this card. So two criticals, uh, about a million each, and then 770K for the, the other super attack. So yeah, it's, it's definitely nice. All right, so like I said, we're gonna switch over to a mono physical team setup. Uh, just you know just to kind of switch it up a little bit uh, I mainly wanted to use this team format just to bring in uh, the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan <clears throat> you know since he does provide 35% uh, boost toward attack and defense for all allies <clears throat> I am on boss rush uh, 4 right now so let's how she does let's see how she does in this type of setup Obviously doing a little bit less in damage here against Super Android 17. Alright, so Bardock is providing a 20% boost toward attack, and then I think it was plus 2 key for all allies, so... A small boost here, not much, but <clears throat> every little bit helps. Yeah, she's definitely uh, trigger happy. Uh, yeah, she is ready to shoot him up. That's all I gotta say. I don't know. I, I'm just a real big fan of like you know berserker berserker type uh, characters. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a, you know I don't know how many of you guys are familiar, but uh, King of Fighters is definitely one of my favorite uh, fighting games and. You know, the character on there, Leona, is, uh, is, is, is buck nice when she goes into, uh, the, you know, Orochi or, uh, Berserk mode, so, I don't know, I, it kind of reminiscent of, of that, you know, a little bit with Kel here, so, I guess, I don't know, that's probably why I like her so much. <clears throat> Alright, let's go ahead and boost her attack a little bit. Uh, I do want to recover HP, so I might as well, you know, give her that 25% boost on top of uh, Gohan's 35% and then Bardock's 20%. Uh, she is about to go into Dokkan mode too, so hopefully, um, you know, that, that helps with uh, pretty decent damage output. All right, so about 2.7 million and then another super tag to finish him off. So definitely nice. Yeah, and then two crits in a row. So 2.7 mil with Dokkan mode and then 1.3 mil for an additional.
Hopefully Janemba doesn't dodge too much here. So, I mean, yeah, with the critical, she definitely does consistently hit for over a mil, so um, no complaints there with the damage output, honestly. <clears throat> I mean, it does depend on, you know, the passive skills provided by, you know, the rest of the team, but I mean, overall, I mean, I, I rate this uh, card pretty high, um, yeah. And I don't know what the hell is going on with all these sirens going around. Maybe there's an accident or something nearby. It is right after 5. Traffic tends to get crazy and there are a bunch of idiot drivers around. Alright, unfortunately, uh, she's not going to be able to get a super attack right off the bat, but with the additionals, you know, uh, she should be able to. So that's kind of another advantage there is, you know, if you don't have enough key for some reason, uh, she could potentially get the super anyway. Like so. So the built-in ability for a high chance to uh, additional attack with the super uh, is definitely a nice feature. And then with the potential system, she could... Uh, you know, uh, do another super attack on top of that. So that was definitely uh, real nice with her. And uh, yeah, she won't be doing too much in damage here against Gotenks, unfortunately. But, you know, it's it, you'll still be able to see how frequent the additional attacks kick in and, you know, how often the criticals kick in, too. So back-to-back -back supers with uh, both activating criticals. So yeah, certainly, uh, certainly good. 